Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State Tech, and today we're going to talk about how to force quit apps on Android. So force quitting apps is a good practice to get into because it helps keep your Android system from getting bogged down with remembering the state of too many applications that you were previously in. So every time that you're in an app, you can, of course, jump back to it easily in multitask mode uh, by swiping up if you're on a pixel or hitting the multitask button uh, or recents button on your Android phone so that you can kind of toggle through all the different apps that you've recently been using. Uh, but some of that has to stay stored in memory. And even though Android's gotten really good at making sure that not too many things are running in the background, uh, it, sometimes some apps still do that. And so really the only way to clear them out completely is just to force quit them. Now you want to make sure that you don't have anything that you haven't saved, for example, like a half typed text message, an Instagram post you haven't finished posting or something like that before you close an app, because essentially it's the same thing as closing an app on your computer. You want to make sure you don't lose any of your work. So make sure you save or post or whatever, back up whatever you're doing before you close out the app. So on a Pixel 3 uh, or a Pixel device with uh, that's pretty much full gesture mode because there's no buttons on it, you would swipe up and then you would just swipe up on the apps and they're going to go away. It's very easy. You probably already even know how to do this. Um, on other devices such as uh, a Galaxy device or other devices that still have the buttons down at the bottom, you would just tap your Recents button and do the same swipe effect. Some of them are swipe up, some of them are swipe to the side, but they're pretty much all getting to be about the same these days where it's just swipe up uh, in a similar fashion to the way it is on an iPhone even. So force quitting apps definitely helps keep your phone from getting really sluggish. Um, other things that can keep your phone sluggish uh, are, of course, having too little of available storage space on your phone. So, for example, maybe your phone is full of apps, uh, photos and videos, and so you're, you don't have a whole lot of storage left. That can cause a problem. I've got a video for that to show you how to clear out some space. Um, of course, apps can clog up a little bit too. Doesn't happen so much anymore, but apps can get clogged up. And so clearing the cache of an app can definitely help. And then of course, if even after you force quit a bunch of apps, if that doesn't seem to really cut it, you can just do a restart on your phone and that typically seals the deal right there. Sometimes we don't realize how long it's been since we've restarted our phone. And even though Android phones do a great job of running for a long time without having to be restarted, Sometimes the best thing is just to turn it off and on again, and it clears things right up. So don't be afraid to do that uh, if your phone continues to run a little slow. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If it helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel here on State of Tech for more videos like this. Our goal is to help you learn the most, get the most out of your devices, and of course, just have a better overall experience with them. So thanks so much for checking out this video, and I hope to see you back in the next one.